Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. Today, we're going to discuss AABB, CUBV, LIACF, LIGA, METX, NSAV, PHIL, Shibu Inu, SMURF, and WTRH. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion and is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button, the little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. Also go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks we're going to be covering. Stocks like ENZC at 0.014, ABML at 7 cents, ALPP at 7.5 cents, and HMBL at 0.027. And if you click on the symbol or the percentage gain, it will take you to our original profile, which is date and time stamped on insiderfinancial.com. You can see we first talked about the TSNP Humble merger on November 13th last year. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For U.S. and Canada, Canada it'd be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, zero. It will not work. And text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts. Many times we will do a text only alert if something hot comes across our desk. And the best part is about our email and text messaging service is that they are both free. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. With that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Well, what can I say? I am thrilled October is over. Uh, just been a lot of drama this month. Uh, tough month in the OTC. Um, a lot of people are talking about is the OTC dead? No, it, OTC, you know, I've been doing this almost 20 years. OTC is, um, how do I put it? You know how there's a bull market, like right now there's a bull market in crypto. It's been going on for a few months. Uh, we did have a, a, an earlier bear market. Um, OTC will get, you know, bull and bear markets, uh, you know, overnight. I mean, it is just a, uh, uh, a fast and, and crazy market that the sentiment can change on a dime. Um, this week, the sentiment was hurt by the Alex DeLarge controversy. Um, I went into detail about that um, in my last video. I said, what in the world is happening on the OTC markets? We got 116 thumbs up. Thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate that support and uh, glad it helped a lot of you uh, uh, newbies and those of you trading OTC. So uh, really appreciate the support and uh, it's all about coming together as a community, putting October behind us and focusing on making big money um, in uh, November. Um, the close on Friday, uh, the OTC saw 2,061 advancers. 2,619 decliners on $2.6 billion in dollar volume. Again, if the OTC was dead, we would not be having this kind of do dollar volume. Um, we're still, uh, we're not as near the, the record trading volumes of February, but we're still doing quite well. And uh, there's a lot of interest and we're just waiting for that spark to, uh, to get, uh, you know, markets running again. But, you know, in the meantime, um, you know, we've only had, you know, two alerts this week. One uh, Monday's lithium alert uh, ended at flat. 
Um, we had a psychedelic profile on uh, Thursday, up double digits. Uh, congrats to all that uh, that got into that play. Uh, uh, closed up on Thursday, made new highs on Friday. We really like, we still love both plays, so uh, we're still bullish. Um, you know, uh, again, only two alerts. Guys, you know, in these tough markets right now, um, you know, you got to make sure you don't make any of, uh, you know, rookie mistakes, I call them. You know, please don't be doing any over trading. Don't be doing boredom trading. Don't be doing revenge trading. Don't be chasing. And, and you know, please, please wait for the ideal setups. Um, you know, that's where you make the money. Um, you know, I know a lot of you are frustrated right now with, you know, about the OTC, but, you know, um, you know, go where the money's hot, you know, and I, I, I preach this, it, it, it pays to play both OTC and NASDAQ NYSE pennies and also crypto. I mean, uh, Shibu, you know, uh, this has just been a nice runner, uh, you know, throughout October. So, um, you know, you're, you're up over 700%. Uh, if, if you got in this one, uh, uh, you know, this month, if you got in at basically any price except, uh, you know, the other day at the new highs, just under whatever that is, uh, one, two, three, five uh, zeros, and then a nine, um, you know, you're down slightly, but uh, it gave you plenty of opportunities. And, uh, you know, we encourage uh, everyone to play. Go where the money is, you know, and, and crypto's hot right now. And, uh, you know, we're not even seeing, uh, you know, follow through in the, you know, crypto penny stocks. So right now, uh, you know, Shibu Inu is, 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 a, is a right way to play it. Um, for those of you that, you know, with small accounts and, and are looking for these lotto type plays. But dumping in here to uh, go over what's happening in uh, some of our stocks. All of these stocks have been covered on insiderfinancial.com. Uh, AABB, uh, you know, this is getting ready to launch its uh, crypto exchange. Uh, nice uh, two days here, rallied from uh, under, where did it start on Thursday? Uh, opened at, at eight and a half cents, uh, rallied to uh, 17, uh, just under 18 cents. So a double in two days, pulled back a little bit off the highs, but you know, a nice play uh, here in AABB. Uh, CUBV, um, this is getting ready. Uh, they say a mer the, um, the merger with a lithium producer is back on the table. Um, details coming this week. Um, certainly, uh, you know, lithium is, is a sector that we really like. Um, and, and I think, uh, you know, lithium is, is a, certainly a sector that you want to be invested in uh, with, the, with the demand for EV batteries. Uh, lithium is, is going to be a, a great sector to, uh, to be in. Speaking of which, uh, you know, LIACF, uh, this has been one of our favorites, um, you know, ran from, it's from $1.20 uh, back in August. Um, now it's uh, making uh, up here uh, near its uh, uh, new highs uh, around 333. So um, we get above that 340, uh, we're going to be uh, knocking on four bucks, then five bucks. So certainly uh, an exciting play in LIACF. And, uh, you know, this is uh, with this run, you know, you see an LICF shows you why we like this sector. So definitely lithium plays are uh, are. are something that we uh, highly, highly recommend in, in the sector. Um, LIGA, uh, we've been talking about this one um, quite a bit. We've talked about it twice uh, on the site uh, this month. Uh, where is it? Uh, yes, uh, we talked about the latest update was this week. Uh, LIGA, penny stock number two. Um, it's got several partnerships, including with major uh, home builder D.R. Horton. Um, so this one's been a, uh, a great play uh, for our subscribers uh, this month. So uh, uh, up here near the highs. So uh, congrats to all that uh, played this uh, LIGA in, uh, in October. 
Uh, METX uh, running recently. Uh, this is getting pumped by uh, Laid Back. Uh, he's one of the pumpers uh, on Twitter, along with Mr. Zach Morris and the Atlas Trading Crew. Um, guys, you know these pumpers. I, I you know, I've talked about them. Uh, um, you know, don't want to spend too much time on them, but you know, you got to play the momentum. You got to get in early on on their pump plays, and then please sell out, book profits, because uh, you don't know when the dump is coming. So you don't want to be uh, bag holding uh, in these pumper plays. So just just word of word of advice there. Um, NSAV um, companies all over Twitter right now. Um, talking about uh, BW.com, um, BW.com is is the real deal. So uh, you know BW.com has been tweeting. You know, uh, uh, welcome NSAV to join BW.com family. Uh, for c- confidentiality, we have no further comments. Thank you for your support. So uh, you know, we're just they're signaling that something's coming. Um, so, you know, this is one you want to be paying attention to NSAV. Uh, this was a runner earlier, uh, this summer, and, uh, we think this one can get running again if they did deliver the goods and come out with a big announcement, uh, with BW.com that they're merging, um, over that, you know, the there's going to be, uh, you know, stuff happening there. So definitely an exciting uh, play there with uh, NSAV. Uh, PHIL, um, this one was out this week with an 8K um, for a $1.5 billion loan. So, uh, you know, $1.5 billion, this might be the biggest uh, loan that we've seen in the, uh, in the, on the OTC markets. So uh, certainly, um, you know, making big moves here and, uh, you know, waiting for more details to be released. Um, but this one is a double zero trading under a penny, uh, getting $1.5 billion uh, loan. So definitely one uh, I wouldn't be sleeping on, uh, on this one. Um, SMURF, um, this is tokens.com. Uh, they just raised $12 million. Uh, what's exciting about this is they uh, co own Metaverse Group Limited, one of the world's first NFT based virtual real estate uh, blockchain companies. Um, they own an inventory of DeFi and NFT based crypto currencies uh, through a process called staking. Um, you know, they use their, uh, they're able to earn additional tokens uh, with, you have, with Fata, uh, with Facebook uh, rebranding and be, going to become meta, uh, Zuckerberg's all over the metaverse, and, uh, you know, this shows you, uh, you know, uh, the potential in the space, and uh, SMURF is a new play on the OTC and just in time. So uh, there's going to be a lot more investors chasing uh, the metaverse type plays. Uh, you know, Zuckerberg, I mean, Facebook, I mean, 38% of the world's population uses Facebook products, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. I mean, they are uh, a giant of one, you know, uh, they might be under one trillion, but they're right up around there. Um, I mean, it's it's huge, and, and Zuckerberg, whether you like him or hate him, um, you know, the guy is a visionary, and uh, he's pivoting the company to the metaverse, and uh, we think one of the best plays, ways to play it is with SMURF, tokens.com. Uh, last up here is WTRH. Um, we talked about this one uh, the uh, this week uh, when it was consolidating uh, right here uh, under the dollar fifty. Got the nice breakout, uh, and uh, we're just trading under two hundred two bucks. Uh, we ran into the um, two hundred day moving average at two dollars and fourteen cents, guys. Um, you know, for those of you that are, that are follow me on my channel, and uh, for you newbie, newbies. I use simple chart setups, you know, I use candlesticks and moving averages, 20, 50, and 200 day. Uh, it ran right to the 200 day, backed off. Um, that was a sign to scale out uh, some profits. 
um, you know, we need to close above there, and uh, then it's it's off and running. So please learn how to use these uh, moving averages, learn about trailing stops. Um, it's all about, you know, money management, um, you know, booking, booking profits, um, and, you know, don't fall in love with any of these plays. Um, because if you fall in love, you could end up, you know, getting bag hold. So, you know, move on, make money. It's that, that's what the name of this business is. It's just all about making money. So we want to see you guys do as, as well as, as possible. Uh, last year, there was a lot of millionaires created. Um, I mean, you, you know, you look at what happened with ENZC last year, ABML, ALPP, HMBL. I mean, it was just immense money you know it, it was insane you know uh the the amount of money many many millionaires were created last year uh on the run from november to february so we are uh happy october is behind us we uh we like what uh, how our subscribers are positioned with uh our alerts um we're gonna be having uh uh, new alerts next week. Uh, I've been doing a lot of studying and s running screens this weekend. So I'm excited. It's time to, um, you know, capitalize, uh, pick your spots. You have to be very selective, but there's still a lot of good setups out there. And, uh, you know, as, as I ran these net, these uh, today, these stocks down uh, and showed you there's still opportunities. And, you know, all of them have been covered on insiderfinancial.com. So, you know, it's it's all there for you guys. So, you know, plenty of opportunities. Don't get discouraged. Um, you know, don't, don't, you know, start making a lot of, you know, don't get into these bad habits. You know, put it behind you. You know, we don't want you over trading. Don't, don't be doing boredom trading. You know, no revenge trading and no chasing or, or FOMO. No fear of missing out. There will always be opportunities. There will always be new plays. Just uh, if, if, if you feel discouraged, you know, take a break. You don't have to trade. You don't have to do anything. Um, you know, clear your mind and, uh, and, and but, but get ready because, uh, you know, November seasonally, uh, this period is, is the best time to be in, in the OTC. So, you know, uh, sentiment can change on a dime. So, uh, you know, just don't, uh, just, just keep that in mind. So excited for uh, the coming week, the coming month, and, uh, you know, let's all make some money. And, uh, you know, make sure you go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com to get all our new alerts and updates. With that out of the way, I want to thank everyone for subscribing, watching, following, giving me likes. Uh, it means a lot to me. I want to wish everyone a wonderful weekend. And uh, let's put October behind us and let's crush November. Thank you, everyone. And we coming live to you soon with a new video. Bye-bye.